guys Ogs here thank you for watching chelsea against newcastle today at the bridge we've been doing pretty good at the bridge against newcastle we don't do that good at st james but at the bridge we beat them often so it's gonna be very interesting game and it's not going to be easy because they didn't have many players uh, in national teams so they had time to work on their tactics and setups and all that we didn't have enough time we only have like one day and half to work on everything and on top of that we have injury crisis at chelsea at the moment i already explained in my previous video you can go and double check but i'm still confident that we still have enough quality to beat newcastle at the bridge one thing that i don't want to see is risking players that are not 100 percent fit i don't want to see Kovacic, I don't want to see Emerson. If they are not 100%, they can be on the bench and let's find a way to beat Newcastle without them. Because you, we, you don't want to make it worse. We need them in Ajax and other games. Anyways, let's listen to Kyle from Newcastle Fan TV. What he thinks about the game at the bridge today. You're yeah, going down from Newcastle fans TV. I'm actually really looking forward to it because for once going to Stamford Bridge, I actually feel a bit optimistic. For for, for once, <laughs> for the first time in a long time, I actually feel like we can get a result here. Um, I know Chelsea are in good form as of as of recent. They've won four of the last five, and they're starting to show real identity under Frank Lampard. But I really think I really think if there's any team that can go there and get a result tomorrow, I think it could be us. If Sheffield United can go there, be 2-0 down and get a result at Stamford Bridge, I think we can get a result there as well. Um, but what are the, what is the team news going into uh, this weekend? Uh, I'm going to start with Chelsea. They're going to be missing three key players at the weekend. Uh, they're going to be missing Angola Conte, uh, Andreas Christensen, and um, Antonio Rudiger as well. So they're three big players, two, two of their better centre-halves. Uh, Rudiger's a fantastic centre back in that Chelsea defence. Always has a good game against us. Always has was strikers life. So for him not to be playing is great. But the most important one for me, Angola Conte. Since he's joined Chelsea, he's been a mainstay in that midfield. His energy, as you know, he can get forward. He's just he's just such an en engine, re reminiscent of Claudio Magalhaes. If any people from the the noughties, what that love Premier League years. Anyone who know who Claudio Matalele is, what a fantastic player. Play for Real Madrid, play for Chelsea, fantastic player. And Angola Conte is like a, a slightly upgraded version of him, he's fantastic. So for him to be missing, I think Newcastle can take full advantage of that. Newcastle's team news, we have a, we have actually quite a fully fit squad for once. I know we've had were injury problems this season, uh, like some Maxman's being out, Carroll obviously uh, getting back to fitness, but the only people that are out for us is Florian Lejeune, who's only a couple of weeks away, and Matt Ritchie obviously from his uh, operation from the tackle from uh, Hamza Chowdhury. But we've got a fully fit squad, but what does that mean for Newcastle? For me, I would probably go with... A, the same squad that played Man United. Go the two long staffs in the middle. I think Kieran Clark deserves to play again. I think uh, DeAndre Yedlin deserves to play again. Well said, Kyle. It's good to be optimistic because that's what we as fans supposed to do, right? Are you gonna say that my team is going to lose? No way. No matter the situation, you have to back your team, right? But I don't see Chelsea losing this game at the bridge no matter what the situation is injuries or no injuries we still have enough quality to beat uh newcastle and i see us getting three points today scoring three goals and playing three at the back so it's gonna be three 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 Yes, I know many experts uh, from Chelsea fans will tell me, oh, you know nothing. We don't like to play three at the back and all that. I got you. I respect your opinion. But for me, based on the injuries we have at the moment, 
the player that we have in our disposal and the opposition we are playing against, I think starting three at the back will be the best solution. Newcastle will park the bus five at the back and try to hit us on counters. Alan San Maximan is very fast and he will destroy Aspiliqueta or Marcos Alonso if we play four at the back. We don't have any protection in the midfield because N'Golo Kante is out and Kova not so sure and I don't want to risk him. So to cope with the situation, we need to protect Aspi and Alonso. Another situation we need to watch closely is set pieces. Everybody knows how we struggle defending set pieces. And they have Andy Carroll that can, you know, cause some damage in that defense if we ever conceded a set piece. Hopefully, they worked hard in the training and won't humiliate us again with awful defending. Christian Atu is an ex-Chelsea player that we sold to Newcastle. He can also do some damage, but hopefully not because we still love him, but in this case, we had to play against him, right? But that is just to tell you that Newcastle still uh, a very good team with good players and we have to be very careful otherwise we are going to regret anyways guys let me know what you think about the game what is your lineup your starting 11 your score who is going to score and all that respect other people's opinion we are just guessing here the the, the final decision will be made by Frank Lampard always Stay cool like N'Golo Kante and think outside the box. And they tell me that the storms will pass To use me up and use me back They tell me I was built to last They hit me honey like a beat up drum All the way till your hands go numb